focus. Amid the prevailing heat waves in North India, the IMD has scaled up its warning to a red alert in Delhi NCR from its previously announced orange alert, that is. Now, let's tell you the Met Department has issued a red alert in Delhi and its bordering states as the heat wave conditions continue to prevail in the region. In fact, the weather agency has warned that severe heat wave conditions will continue in Delhi, Haryana, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh till tomorrow. The IMD department came out with the fresh advisory and they have changed the color of the warning. And yesterday as well, there was this red alert which was announced by late evening and today as well, it is going to continue. That means severe heat wave conditions are going to be experienced by the residents of the NCR region and the warm nights are also something which is going to be uh, retained at the same time. That means the temperature are also uh, going to be seen at the all time high. Uh, yesterday, if we talk about the temperature in particular, they were recorded somewhere uh, between 46 degrees Celsius to 47 degrees Celsius which is already very high also we have seen the peak uh, touching the 50 degrees Celsius in the last few days but there are a couple of reasons which are responsible for the same Alino factor is one another one is the clear blue sky where the sunlight is hitting directly on the ground which is making the temperature even more higher but the respite is already on its way we are uh, hearing from the IMD department that there is active western disturbance which is currently being formed and it is going to be in effect starting from tomorrow that means uh, uh, after a day there will be some form of respite in the form of the dropping of the temperature and light to very light rainfall is something which is also expected at the same time with the gust gusty winds going to blow at the speed of 25 to 30 kilometers per hour so after a day three four days are going to be there where the uh, situa situation is likely to become even more better and there are also prediction for the light rainfall as well but today is going to be very much crucial In fact, uh, let's also tell you, as the country undergoes its longest recorded spell of heat wave, the national capital also continues to grapple with the severe water crisis. Now, desperate residents in different parts of the city have been seen waiting in long queues and running behind water tankers to fulfill their daily requirements. In fact, as the crisis continues, let's take a closer look at the situation from ground zero with these reports. Water crisis has now hit uh, VIP areas in Delhi and because of that several public toilets have completely run out of water while few of them are closed because of non-availability of water. Others are open but have absolutely completely no water at all. I'm currently in uh, the Bengali uh, market area of the national capital uh, which is considered to be a VIP area. Uh, this is the washroom. Let me uh, show you the ground reality for that. You'll have to come inside this public washroom with me to see what the ground reality is and here you can see absolutely no water in the taps here not just this uh, all the uh, public washrooms in and around this area have no water at all and the reason which the NDMC has given for this is that the underground water reservoir which is in uh, the Bengali market and also the Tilak mark uh, they are receiving very less water by the Delhi Jal Board and this is what the NDMC has said that they are receiving 40% less water from the Delhi Jal Board. दिल्ली के अंदर पानी की किल्लत अभी भी जारी है जहां तापमान रेड अलर्ट पर है तो वहीं पानी की कमी जो है वो भी रेड अलर्ट की ओर पहुंच चुकी है तस्वीरें मैं आपको दिल्ली के ओखला के दिखा दूं जहां पर आप नजर पाएंगे कि अभी भी आ, लोग जो हैं सवेरे पानी भरते नजर आ रहे हैं टैंकर से जहां पर ये पानी भी बहुत ही आ, सिमित समय के लिए आता है सिमित जगहों पर आता है बातचीत करने की कोशिश करेंगे आ, कुछ लोगों से और जानेंगे भैया यहां पे कब तक कब पानी आता है कब कब पानी आता है यहां पे एक दिन छोड़ के एक दिन एक दिन छोड़ के कितना टैंकर आता है फिर एक ही आता है भैया अमूमन कितना समय आप लोगों का जाता है यहाँ पर पानी भरने में वही एक दो घंटे एक दो घंटे के बाद टैंकर आ जाता है अच्छा तो ये ऐसे रोज होता है कि आपको इंतजार करना पड़ता है और तभी आता है हाँ इंतजार करना पड़ता है देख सकते हैं कि ये तस्वीरें हैं लोग ऐसे ही आते हैं यहाँ पर गली गली में पानी भरने और जब पानी भर जाएगा तो थोड़ा थोड़ा करके यहाँ से अपने घरों की ओर पहुँचेंगे और साफ तौर पर ये किल्लत है सवेरे की जहां लोग अमूमन अपने घरों पर नौकरी करने के लिए निकलते हैं लेकिन यहां पर बच्चे जो हैं सवेरे पानी भरने के लिए पहुंचे हुए हैं भाई साहब यहां पे ये दिक्कत हमेशा रहती है बच्चे भी आते हैं अधिकतर मात्रा में हमने देखा है तो ये कितनी मुश्किल होती है मिसकुल तो है ही है 
लोगों को ड्यूटी जाना होता है कभी टाइम से आ गया जैसे आठ टाइम से आ गया तो आ गया नहीं तो कभी ग्यारह बजे कभी दस बजे आता है जी चार दिन पर आया टंकी चार दिन पर चार दिन के बाद आया लोग का पानी ना कल सारे दिन इंतजार किया पानी के लिए अच्छा। आ, आज आया है कन पानी तो कम पड़ता है तो क्या करते हैं आप लोग क्या करते हैं वही गंदा पानी आते हैं तो भरते हैं तो यहाँ पर तस्वीरें देखा आपने कि जितने बड़े लोग नजर आ रहे हैं उसी के साथ साथ छोटे बच्चे भी हैं जो जितना संभव हो सके उतनी सहायता घर वालों की करते हैं लेकिन ये चौंकाने वाली बात है कि चार दिन के बाद पानी आता है और अमूमन भी एक दिन छोड़कर एक दिन पानी आता है जब पानी कम होता है तब लोगों को गंदे पानी का इस्तेमाल करना पड़ता है अपने अमूमन जीवन व्यापन के लिए All right, so that is of course uh, very important to take a look at those reports that we just played out because it's essential to know what the ground reality is looking like. And both my colleagues, that is Akanksha and Shivani, have put things into perspective. In fact, what Akanksha's report was focusing on is the water crisis that has also hit the VIP areas, and several public toilets have also run out of water. Whereas Shivani, of course, was talking to people and how they have been facing a particular issue as far as this is concerned. But what is very important here is this is clearly a double whammy. We're not looking at any particular respite uh, that has come through over here. And, uh, but more importantly, we're also telling you that you could call us on the numbers that are flashing on your screens to share with us your concerns. Because civic apathy overall across the country, multiple instances, we've seen this time and again. In your opinion, why is that? What kind of a problem are you facing Call us and tell us because on Mirror Now, clearly you matter to us and we always put you first. So do call in on the numbers given. But if there's one person amongst many other colleagues who are doing a fine job of reporting despite the glaring conditions has to be my colleague Nikhil, who is joining me live on the broadcast. Nikhil, in fact, you know, as we are, of course, getting things into perspective for our viewers, very important to note that we're doing a call-in show so we could get the voices of citizens today, this morning. And in fact, you have been on the ground reporting for the past couple of weeks despite the unprecedented temperatures but this is also a double whammy concern concerning the fact that we are of course looking at how water the crisis has really affected multiple areas of the national capital and we don't see any respite on either of those fronts well there are two fronts uh, where the delegates are facing the problem first one is about the uh, heat wave condition and today as we have already mentioned there is Severe heat wave warning which has come out from the side of the IMG department, where red alert has already been issued by the department for today and yesterday as well. It was in the similar uh, warning. But uh, if we talk about the water crisis in particular, which is the another front where the Delhiites are facing the problem, the situation appears to be likewise. Only the tankers are reaching out to the local uh, people, but uh, the timings are not definite as to what time the tankers are going to arrive, which is making the local people lose a lot of their precious time waiting for the water tankers. And there are some of the uh, localities where the people have also alleged that dirty water, which is unworthy of the consumption, is being received by them. So this is the problem which is being faced by the Delhiites as far as uh, the water crisis is concerned. But Nevedna, let's also speak about uh, things which we have not spoken about so far. There are other factors as well, speaking further about the heat phase. Yesterday, there was this indigo flight which was Bagdogra bound. It was uh, delayed by over three to four hours because of the uh, high temperature and the AC was also not working. So, the impact of the heat phase condition is also on the flight operations, uh, if you see by that aspect. So, uh, we have seen in the last few days that Delhi, San Francisco in the uh, month of May, May 30, that was also uh, delayed because of the same factor. And we have spoken to multiple experts. They have said that if an uh, aircraft is exposed for too long in the uh, direct uh, uh, um, sunlight, then there are chances that, and then, that it might uh, face some of the difficulties, especially when it comes to the air conditioning system. So this is another part, but if we talk about further details, uh, in the capital city, because of the heat phase, not just water crisis is something which is being faced, but also the local vendors, the street vendors, they are also facing the whammy. Uh, because between 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. is the time when they face uh, huge losses. Nobody is reaching out to them. There is already a uh, warning which has come out from the IND department, which says that people should avoid 
coming out directly in exposure of the sunlight. And then there are some of the delivery boys as well who are attached with multiple uh, delivery aggregators as far as the food delivery experience is considered. Uh, and in fact, the uh, if I can recall properly, there was this tweet uh, which was done from the founder of one of the delivery apps wherein he said that people should refrain from ordering between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So you can imagine that at every stage, the impact of the heat wave is something which is being faced. Nikhil, I'd have to in interject you there because I do understand uh, we do have a caller, a viewer who has in fact called in, Rangaswamy from Defence Colony. Mr. Rangaswamy, thank you very much uh, for calling us in. Share with us your perspective. Mr. Rangaswamy, if you can hear me, we understand you're calling from Defence Colony. Tell us uh, the pressing concerns that you've had uh, in the past couple of days and what do you make of the situation? All right, we'll try connecting with one of our viewers who has, of course, called us in to share with us their perspective. Remember, it's multiple areas of the national capital that's clearly looking at this double whammy. Um, despite the fact that temperatures, of course, has really uh, been unprecedented across the country in the past couple of months, you what you essentially look at on your screens right now is the water scarcity that has gripped the national capital. In fact, several such scenes. I mean, you're looking at people jumping on these water tankers. There were allegations of water water tanker mafia. We've seen something very similar when a water crisis had also hit another urban city in the form of Bengaluru. But the bigger question here is there is no accountability, especially when you know there's a situation like this. Um, there have to be people who are held accountable uh, to be giving those services uh, to the citizens. That is, although politics has continuously been playing out over the same. Uh, but having said that, what we're essentially looking at here is the water scarcity situation as well as the heat wave conditions. There will be no respite on that end. Remember, the IMD over here has scaled up its warning to a red alert in Delhi NCR. So it's just not the national capital. We're also talking about uh, surrounding regions as well because the previous alert over here was the orange alert and now it has gone into the red alert zone. In fact, the Met Department that is did issue the red alert and it's bordering states as the heat wave conditions clearly continue to prevail. We're just not talking about days that have become extremely um, hot. We're also talking about evenings and warm nights, which is something that you don't see often during summer. In fact, these temperatures, these numbers that we've seen have been pretty concerning. They've also caused a lot of deaths. We'll continue to track this big developing input, considering the fact that we would want to know your perspective. But